We just finished installing our brand new wind generator. We went with the Silent Wind. It's the quietest model on the market. It I would say it performs best between 10 to 20 miles per hour. Once you get above knots, once you get above 30 knots, you almost want to shut it down because it gets a little out of control. So let's start with the mast. So the mast connects to here, all the way up. Two support arms, only one of them is finished right now. We're waiting on the second one because the stainless steel is gonna to need to be bent a little bit because where the solar panel goes. So the cable goes through here, down here, and then the cord goes through a clamshell. So this is sort of a clamshell through hole and when you close it up, it cinches down the rubber so you get a nice seal. We actually cannot really hear it inside the cabin. If you're laying in the back of the quarter berth, you can hear it and there may be a little tiny bit of vibration, but we bought this as a package and they give you all sorts of little dampeners and stuff that really take out a lot of the vibration and the noise. Now listen closely at how quiet the new silent wind air generator is. You can barely hear it. And just look at that flag. There's quite a blow. I got all these crazy metal pieces and it took me about 30 minutes to figure out how to put it all together. So these go on the bottom and then this mounts to here. And I'll slide these around to kind of get a position how I want. So here's our solar panels. You can see how we mounted them on the bimini. We did crossbars on the bimini. And then some of these struts that go across here. And then the panels have these mounting brackets on them and then these, these plastic things. And for a little bit more support, we have these down tubes and then the bimini is pretty solid. So I'm in the back of our quarter berth. So the wires come in through the transom of the boat, through that starboard lazarette, and then they come out here. So here is the charge controller, sort of like a regulator for our silent wind wind generator. The 12.8, that is our battery bank. And then the other number you see is how much wind we're generating. Right now we're not generating anything. This is the controller, the E20. It monitors both our wind and our solar. So you can see up here the 7.1. That is the amps we're getting out of the solar panels right now. And the 13 point whatever number, that is our battery bank is registering that high because we're charging them right now. And then this is the run stop switch for the wind generator. When we put it on stop, it disconnects it from the power and a magnet locks it up to keep it from spinning. So you'd want to do that if it was high winds. All right, then we got our breaker panel for the wind and the solar, so you can turn them on and off. This is our little power meter for the wind. It's showing zero right now because the power the wind generator is generating is a little less than one amp. So 3.1, that is how many amps the wind has collected in the past couple hours. And the battery bank, and there you go. Some people don't like wind, some people don't like solar, but for us, we kind of think they're both different purposes and there's not one great solution to getting renewable energy on a boat. So you gotta attack it from both angles. So we're doing wind and solar. It was a very brief moment but for a second there, we were producing more energy than we were using. We've never done that before, so it's crazy.